Hello everyone, it's Marcy here from Stampin' with Marcy. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in southwestern Ontario, Canada, and I would like to welcome you to my Wednesday evening live. I'm just adjusting things here. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm going to bring you up on my iPad so that I can read comments. All right, so let's see here. Come on. There we go. All right, so we are live here on November 1st on my Facebook business page, Stampin' with Marcy. Um, it is November 1st, can you believe it? I know I sure can't. I can't. I just can't believe that it is November 1st. Yesterday was Halloween and we had um, doubled our number of trick-or-treaters from last year. So yay, I was extremely happy about that. And oh my gosh, the little ones that came were so adorable and all of the children were so very polite parents out there you are doing such a fabulous job with your littles they are just really really impressive how polite and lovely even the little bit older ones everybody was so nice uh yeah so we had um over 40 people last over 40 littles last night it was so awesome okay so I am sharing today, I am sharing the Fluffiest Friends Bundle. This will not be available until November the 7th. So that is just um, less than a week away for us now. So this is one of the two online bundles that will be available. Well, actually there'll be more, but this is what we got to see. Um ahead of time so uh this fluffiest friends is so darn cute i've designed a class i just have to um get all of the details worked out for it um i've been scattered i do apologize my son's uh partner she passed away on the 20th so it's been a rough go for us here so i stumble on my words I get emotional, bear with me. So this um, set, this is the card we're going to be creating. Please say hello when you join me, let me know where you're coming from. This is the card. If you're watching on YouTube, you're watching the replay. Um, hopefully the internet sticks with us. It um, went out five times today. <laughs> So yeah, today was a day. My internet went out five times. I was in the process of cooking, uh, making pasta sauce. I thought I was gonna have to turn on my gas barbecue because uh, I was um, browning my meat and sauteing my vegetables for the sauce. And I cleared off the snow. We got a huge dumping of snow. <laughs> so I cleared all that off the barbecue, got it all ready, and then the power came back on. So <laughs> thank goodness. But my laptop is making weird sounds. It's um, like screaming at me. And my website was down all day, so I don't have a blog post to coordinate with this just yet. Um, it will be live tomorrow um, at some point. So uh, I will uh, put the link in the um, description box on the YouTube video when I do that. So, um, all of your measurements and supplies will be coming once I can get that um, blog post done. It, my website didn't uh, come back on until um, about 35-ish minutes ago. So, alrighty. And am I still? Yes, okay. I'm looking at my, um, my iPad here, making sure that I have... Um, haven't frozen. So this is the cue card. A friend of mine had a birthday yesterday. Happy birthday once again, Tracy, if you're uh, watching uh, live or the replay. So this is the card that I created 
for her. And this is a layout I have used before. I don't remember who the original designer of this layout is, but uh, this was my first card I created with this layout. A very uh, simple but very pretty layout. And then I created some uh, thank you cards. I stepped it up a bit by adding the embossing folder behind. And then it, um, I trimmed down my white cardstock a bit and I came up with this one here. So you can see how different that one layout is. Just by tweaking a few different things, you get a completely different looking card. So when you are looking for inspiration, take a look at the cards that you've already created and the layers and see what you can do to kind of jazz them up or change it up. But it's the exact same measurements for the designer series paper. It's just different paper for each. Well, actually these, this pack is the same, but this is that beautiful Hello Irresistible paper from the this is only available in the online store. I believe it's still in there. Um, with my computer acting up, I haven't been on it today. So let's get started. This Fluffiest Friends has no sentiments. So that means you can pull your sentiments from any stamp set you've got. So I wanted a cute little happy birthday that just went with that adorable image. So the darling details, this happy birthday is what I settled on. And I've already, okay, I've got all my elements here. I did a, I smudged my ink. <laughs> so I created a little, the strings for that, um, the balloons. So I've got my die, balloons die cut already. Um, I've already tied a little knot in my uh, ribbon. This is the 3 8 shimmer or sheer ribbon or shimmer ribbon. I forget. It's annual catalog. Everything will be on the blog post uh, tomorrow. And I'm also using, where are they? Here I am using the adhesive backed solid gems, the uh, lemon lolly. All right. So let's get started here. I've got my rectangle, my, um, I've got two of them in case I mess up. Um, so I've got my deckled rectangle die. Hello, uh, Diana. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Stampin' Up! announced their, um, top achievers. Um, today and I didn't even think it was on my radar um, but Diana my one of my very very best friends from Arizona I talk about her a lot she uh, messaged me congratulations while I was uh, cooking the pasta for our dinner and I said congratulations on what I'm having a day <laughs> so she told me so I went and um, popped on my um, iPad to go see. And I was very surprised. Um, thank you so much to my team, my customers, my friends, family, everybody that helped me um, get to where I am today. I truly love and appreciate all of you. Okay, so... This little, this is a Hammy the Hamster. Um, <laughs> I don't remember what, what, did he have his own show? Hammy the Hamster. He's so cute. Just so cute. So I've already stamped um, my little hamster there. And I am using the 1000 and the 900. That's the light uh, combo pack for oh you know what where is his did I I'm missing a I am missing the 600 all right I'm missing I did I leave it upstairs because I went upstairs to do my blog post and my blog was not working so we're gonna color we're gonna color hammy a little different so let's see 
I used 600 uh, for Hammy. So let's go to 500. I'm going to grab 500 because I'm not running up those stairs. So... Eight, seven, four. Oh, there's five. There's five. So this little hamster is going to be a little different. You used four hundred. You use four hundred and six hundred all the time. Um, yeah, six hundred is such a great color. So, but I didn't want it quite that dark. So let's see here. So we've got 500. So it's not quite as orangey. I keep this um, in a dish here on my desk so that I can quickly and easily look up the colors to see what kind of color do I want my image to be. So this is going to be just a smidge darker than the original. So we had, like I said, such a dumping of snow overnight and into, it snowed till two o'clock this afternoon. And I am absolutely positive I'm gonna wake up in the morning and be like, oh my gosh, I'm so sore. Because the snow was so heavy, it was like, I was, I was literally grunting. <laughs> when I was trying to lift that shovel up to uh, throw the snow from the driveway onto the grass. It was crazy. But last night, it was beautiful. It was, yes, it was fresh, but there was no rain for those cute little trick-or-treaters. And we watched The Haunted Mansion. It was cute. I'm going to watch it again. I told Brad that I will definitely watch it again. He said, what, next year? And I said, no, within the next couple days. Because it's a two-hour and five-minute movie on Disney. However, <laughs> because we were busy with trick-or-treaters, we had um, to pause it every time. So this is 900. I don't want the feedies to be quite as pinky as those rosy little cheeks. So I'm doing the inside of the ears and the little feeties, they are the 900. And then the 1000 is my cute little rosy cheeks and our little nose. So I'm just going in a circle. Yeah, so we had to keep stopping the movie. So that two hour movie took us three hours <laughs> to watch it stop and start stop and start so that we could go and answer the door for all those little cutie pies so this is dark flirty flamingo so i pulled my colors from the designer series paper although i don't think it's lemon lolly that's in the paper um, but i just really like lemon lolly and i wanted to use that ribbon so I did. So that's the dark. Here comes the light. Yeah, I'm going to be very sore come tomorrow morning, I am sure, because I was using muscles that I have not used in a while. All right, that's going to dry. So let's grab our plate and our cute little uh, matching die. You only got a few trick-or-treaters, one family, one with nine kids that, okay, let's see. Even the mom and dad. We had a lot of parents that were dressed up. It was so fun to see. And my next door neighbor that I dropped off some treat boxes for her grandkids they came and um, the she's got three littles. I don't think the, the baby in the stroller was dressed up because she, uh, he was all bundled up. But um, they were, was Dallas, her oldest boy, he was 
Buzz Lightyear and um, Layla. What was she? I don't remember what she, she was so cute. And then dad was uh, Woody from Toy Story. It was a Toy, Toy Story theme. Dad was Woody. Mom was, um, Alicia was the front of the slinky dog. And then um, her younger sister, Mackenzie, was the um, back end of the slinky dog. And they were attached with like a slinky. Oh my gosh, it was so cute. Yeah, we had unicorns and horses and fairies and Barbies. Oh my gosh, so cute. Um, one little girl was Wednesday. Um, we had knights and astronauts. Oh my gosh, it was just, I love Halloween, seeing all those little kids dressed up. So cute. All right. There we go. Okay. Hello, Carol. Hello, Amy. I'm a little late catching up here. Oh, and I didn't do a fabulous job of cutting that out. There's a little more attached to the bum. So what you can do, I wish my comments wouldn't stop. Um would stop disappearing. So if you find that you've got too much at one end, that it's, you're, it's not down quite a bit. Now, most people that would be okay, but I'm persnickety. So I'm gonna come in with my scissors and I am going to just trim that down a little bit so that it matches the top a little bit more. You don't have to do this. Close enough is good enough. Unless you're me. <laughs> and quite frequently I'm like, you know, I can just take that down a titch more. And see, to me that's just better. Taking that little bit off. So, yes. You don't normally get trick-or-treaters. Marina, you didn't get any kids? Aw. So the dad was um, the main part of the centaur, and he was even carrying the three-month-old. Oh, my gosh, how adorable is that? Uh, yeah, when I went to the post office today, I had to mail some stuff later this afternoon after um, I had to shovel in stages because because it was so heavy and then when the snow plow came and dumped it all at the end that was just awful and then I had to clean my vehicle off and Connor's vehicle was parked in front of mine so I had to clean his off and warm his up before I could um even get out so once I pulled out of the draw pulled his out I um had to clean mine off. All right, now because this is a 3D embossing folder, can you see how there is, because a 3D embossing folder is so um, dynamic, it really accentuates that pattern. So it kind of squishes and it manipulates and moves that um, cardstock. So because I'm me, <laughs> You don't have to do this, but this, I'm like, you know, I, I can squish it back out. So all I do is I take my bone folder and I press down. Now I'm still going to get that fabulous pattern on that paper. It's just not going to be quite as, um... dynamic type of thing so that is now I still have that lovely pattern but I have now got that so that 
we are more even on those sides. It's not quite such a big gap. So, and I like that. Um, I like it to be a little, like even though you've cut it to, this would be, let me just see. Where's my ruler? Is this four? Like I said, I am scattered. So this is five and three eighths by four and an eighth. So it's an eighth of an inch um, smaller than the card front. But um, because of the embossing folder, it shrinks it up. It pulls those fibers and pushes them pushes them to that pattern. So I just like to go and help it get a little bit back to that correct length that it was. So, and that to me looks better. All right. So we've got our this paper is so gorgeous. This is the paper I used for Diana's um, million dollar card that I sent her for her sales. I created that card with this paper. It is so pretty. All right, so I am looking at the top and the sides to make sure that I am even on the top and the sides. And then, so any pattern paper, just pick something that coordinates nicely together. There we go. And now our little um, hamster, is glued on flat right on there like so and the little hammy he's just sitting just not quite at the bottom like so Move that out of the way oh hello tammy you had five um, Walter had his surgery. Oh, good. So how long, I hope uh, surgery went well, Tammy. And I hope that it helps, um, relieve his pain. Hopefully you can get a good night's rest after all of that. All right. Oh, you know what? <laughs> because I am scattered, this is supposed to be popped up on dimensionals, but it's not. This one is glued down flat. I'm turning it to look and make sure that I am even. Okay, let's put the lid on that so that I don't accidentally go and glue that down. So I've got the ends of there. Ta-da! I love it when I finish a sheet of dimensionals. All right, so there and let's put one there. We don't want a saggy corner. So question, those of you who decorate for Halloween, how long do you leave that stuff up? Do you take it down? Oh my gosh. And I even, oh, it's upside down. <laughs> See? <laughs> oh, do you take your um, decorations down right away? Or do you leave them up a bit? I started, my dining room table is now... Got all of my little gnomies from Lola's Gnomes. 
my cute little gnomies and all of my Halloween stuff. It's all on my dining room table because I have to put it away. I like to take it down almost right, like right away. And, um, give it a good dusting. All right, so we're gonna go one, two, three. And I will not decorate for Christmas yet. I wait till after Remembrance Day. And Remembrance Day this year is Stampin' Up's um, on stage. So I've got some team members you ladies that uh, did register for on stage, I will be posting to our group tomorrow about our get together. I am having my team that registered for it here for a watch party together. Um, so I'll be posting about that. That's on Remembrance Day next Saturday. My crew is going up to the cottage for cottage cleanup. We were supposed to go this Saturday, but we have Jen's celebration. Oh, I don't like the way that's sitting. Can I pull it off? Yes. Celebration of life on Saturday. So we are going as a family for that. So they're all going next Saturday without... Maisie and I, I'll be on looking after the cats. There. All right, so that's the front. Now, the inside. I glued my two balloons overlapping, um, but first I kind of figured out whereabouts they're going to go. Make sure I am in screenshot here. Am I? There we go. So I want them over to the side a bit. And I am no artist. My drawing skills are not super fantastic. However, I think it's cute. So let's make sure that this pen is working. I used an ink pen to do this and it, yeah, it, um, let's go a little higher. All right. So we're going to start right there. So I'm just scooching that out of the way and I'm going to Do that and that's going to be like that. It's a little thicker of a line than the pen that I used, but I'm okay with that. So then this one here, I'm going to go loop, 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 and down. And then I will glue them together. Just something fun to add to the inside. You can also add um, Wink of Stella to your balloons. That would be super cute. Okay. Oh, yes, I do have the Taco Fiesta die. Did you? Yeah, I just thought, you know, it... It's so cute and fun. Let's just add, how am I gonna do that? I'm gonna end up covering up that one. Like so, there. And then let's, let's extend that out and extend that out there. It's not fancy. But it's cute. It's super cute. So you added um, pieces to the inside of your card as well. Yeah, they're so adorable. You know me. I love my cute critters. 
and fluffy or little chubby ones. Oh my goodness, yes. Give them to me. I love them. Okay, so scoot you that way. And there is that card. So my cards for the class that will be announced soon. Um, it'll be later on in the month, like towards the end of the month. I have stamp a stack, which I still have spots for local people. I have lots of spots on the Tuesday, November 14th. And then I have a couple spots for Saturday, November 18th. So I've got a couple fun fold cards. So look at that. So cute. So that is a fun fold card. And then that cute little bunny. And the kitty cat. And oh, I love this card, this fun fold card. So with a beaver. Oh my gosh, love it. And then of course that bear, so cute. So that um, will be announced soon, soon. Um, yeah, so with your dies, you've got, uh, this is the, this is the beaver's nest. And then um, we've got the branches. So that's this here, the branches and the leaves with that oh my gosh just so adorable then fun grass and then the um the beehive i've used the branch and the beehive here with the little bee stamp oh so cute just love this so this will not be available until november the 7th so um like I said, I will be having a class. It will be a to-go class. I may do an in-person class. Um, reach out to me if you are interested. I also have spots left for my um, creative escape, you guys. All right, finally, if you are in Canada and do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator that you currently work with, I would love the opportunity to earn your business. Uh, Please use this month's host code if you're shopping in my online store and your order is under $200. When your order reaches $200 before tax and shipping, you get your own host rewards. Um, and so don't use the code. All right, thanks for coming by, Di. Have a great night. Love you too. All right, so um, that is all for me tonight. It is oh, 7.31, so just 30 minutes. I like to keep it short for you guys. Thank you. Um, yes, it could be a beaver dam or the bird's nest. It's so cute. It is so cute. Um, yes, the kitty card. I know you love your kitties. I was thinking about you and Aurora with that kitty card, um, making the kitty, the uh, gray kitty like your Aurora. So, yes, and I wanted to, because she had the flower pot, so I wanted to pull in the designer series paper, the uh, daisy paper. So, yes. So, all right, you guys, that's it for me. Have a wonderful night. Please reach out if you have any questions. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, you are watching the replay, um, the uh, blog post the um, link will be in the description box below so um, check that out my blog post for you ladies on Facebook will not be up till tomorrow so November 2nd the blog post will be live um, hopefully my my um, computer doesn't die in the meantime on me so <laughs> so yes have a great night and I will uh, see you next week bye for now